Guys, are you having difficulties getting some of the Hotego Patreon analog pocket cores working on your device? Well, uh, stick around, watch this tutorial, and I'll show you how to do it uh, in a step-by-step -step tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back to Pixel Cherry Ninja's channel. If you're a mem member of the Hotego Patreon, you've now got access to analog pocket cores. So if you want to get some of, them some of them running, they're not as easy as the Mr. Ones where you just hit update all and everything's kind of done for you. There is a little bit of work involved, but it's, it's nothing too strenuous. If you follow this tutorial uh, step by step, you'll be okay with it. So let's presume you've got access to the Hotego Patreon. We're going to try Pang like you saw in the beginning of this video. Uh, we're going to try Pang uh, the two cores that you can, that don't have the, or don't require you to submit your analog pocket id are ghosts and goblins and pang so in this video we're going to be covering pang uh, i had a choice of the two and that's what I, i'm doing i've submitted my my pocket id to uh hotego hopefully uh they'll apply that soon so i can access the uh, the patreon or the the drm locked cores like uh outron uh, or the beta cores like outron so anyway let's let's get into this tutorial so again let's presume you've got access to the patreon and you've downloaded uh the jtpang.pocket from his post so here, here's the uh here's the zip over here this is available as, as part of one of his patreon posts just find it on there uh it's it's one of the recent ones say let's say within the last five or six posts then you need uh, a copy of the pang wrong uh, pang rom that you have legally obtained uh you can either you know make a rom out of your arcade hardware or if you've got it on a meme set or wherever you've got it from so first of all the jt pang underscore pocket uh, zip what we want to do let's just extract files okay so let's extract those over here now i've scanned all of these i know they're clean but i always recommend you scan whatever you download from the internet so let's just go over to um this is my analog pocket this is the root of the drive now i've already got it on here but the purpose of this video i'm just going to rewrite everything on there so uh, our newly extracted folder go into it just highlight everything here so what you want to do is copy it over to the root of your analog pocket sd card i'm just dragging it as you can see it's about to copy um you may not get this you probably won't get this i've already got it on here but we're going to replace everything on here so uh it's not the quickest doing it via the analog pocket but it's only a small file so i don't mind waiting for that okay now that we have got that done let's move on to the next step so let's go back um to the folder where we've kind of got everything where we've got our rom um so we are right we don't need these any longer so i'm just going to delete them uh, more so so everything's clean in the video for you guys viewing pleasure so let's go over now to uh this page a link will be in the description right well, first thing we want to do is get mra tool we're a windows uh well we're doing this on windows uh, i'm not i don't really use linux apart from the steam deck uh, so we want the mra.exe now what we want to do let's download that so that's going to download once we've got that in here, now you can go about it slightly different. I'm just going to give you the basic principle and depending on how you like your file storage, it might be slightly different, but the principle will be the same. So now that we've got our MRA.exe and our Pangrom, what we need is an MRA file. So if we head over to, now this is the root of the analog pocket SD card. If we head over to um, assets, we've got a folder in there, JT Pang, that we just put in there. If we go into common, we've got a couple of mra files so what we can do we can um we can uh, use the mra files from here now some games you get from hotego you may not have mra files so what you what you may want to do is uh you may need to grab the mra files yourself in which case the same page the same link the first one here if you go onto that it's got a link to all the mra files so let's just say let's quickly scroll down to pang i'm really sorry this is a real-time uh tutorial i'm not editing it or anything i'm just trying to get it done and i'm trying to show how it's done so you can see uh you know how 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 i am actually doing it so uh we've gone on to sorry we've gone on today i should have just said that okay so we've gone on to that link we found pang world mra let's click on that once we click on that uh, you're going to see raw up here right click raw and then do save link as and that's going to save our mra file so we can get the mra file this way or if it's included in the package then you can use it that way let's go back to our downloads folder now you can see we've got the mra file there let's open up the analog uh pocket folder uh so over here again we're in assets jt pan common so this is the one we re we've retrieved from github this is the one i'm just going to use from the analog pocket now we've got our mra files in there all we simply need to do is 
let's drag uh let's drag pang and let's move it onto mra.exe now we might get a warning yep we've got a warning uh windows protected your pc uh, we know this is clean we've scanned it it's all good uh okay so we want to run that anyway so run that so you're good okay so now we've got pang.rom that is the file we need in order to run this game on the analog pocket let's do the same thing for uh pumping world uh which is i guess a variant of uh pang i'm not too familiar with it and let's just grab that and let's drag that on mra.exe and here we go we've got two roms here now so what we do let's copy these two roms and in order for you to play them on your analog, po analog pocket this is where you need to have them so again the root assets jt pang common let's just copy these over here now you can get rid of the mra files if you want you're not going to use them it's not something um it's not something uh, the analog pocket uses but obviously it's handy for converting the mras over or the mr um, to, to, you need them to convert your rom uh, your dot zip file over to a dot rom file which the analog pocket recognizes so let's uh i'm just going to delete these for the sake of it why not okay just to keep it clean some some housekeeping so we're not getting the analog pocket dirty and that honestly is about it uh once you boot up your analog pocket which we're going to check now we're going to go and check out analog pocket and we're going to run these games and hopefully they are running right guys now for the moment of truth uh, if you follow the instructions correctly head over to your analog pocket go over to open fpga then go down to arcade compatible and you're going to find all your hotego cores there in our case jt bang let's run it hopefully it runs really hope it does and it's running it's loading we have got pang running on our analog pocket so this principle applies to all the hotego cores if you don't have the mra files you know where to get them from you know how to convert uh, you know the, the games over from dot uh, zip uh with the mra file to dot rom files uh, i really hope this tutorial has been helpful uh, if you did find it helpful then a thumbs up and a subscription is super appreciated uh, but guys i'll see you around in the next video pixel cherry ninja out